From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Meteorologist Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. More rocking sleepers are now linked to infant deaths. Big name stores like Walmart and Target are pulling about 700,000 kids to rocking sleepers from their shelves. You can head to the news links section of our website or abcactionnews.com slash recalls for more information. The American Red Cross is hoping you can help install thousands of smoke alarms for families in the Bay Area. Over the next two weeks, volunteers will work with firefighters to install 100,000 free alarms. You can find out more inside the ABC Action News app. The Florida Senate passing a bill to make the electric grid more hurricane proof. The legislation requires utility companies to come up with a plan to harden their systems, and that includes strengthening and burying power lines. In other news, Lakeland leaders want to hear about your ideas about the future of Munn Park. The city's downtown development authority says one thought is to add a carousel. They're holding a public meeting in Munn Park on Monday from 11 in the morning to 8 in the evening. And you can now walk, run, or bike continuously from Clearwater Beach to Tampa. Clearwater and Pinellas County celebrating the completion of the Druid Trail Phase 4. It runs along Druid Road. And now here's meteorologist Jason Adams with your forecast. Jason. We're going to see temperatures Saturday morning starting out into the upper 50s and low 60s thanks to a nice drop in humidity behind the front. However, throughout the day Saturday, the winds are still going to be gusting up to 15 and 20 miles per hour. So still breezy at the beach. There's a high rip current risk for us for Saturday from Pinellas and Hillsborough County South. So if you did have plans to swim, make sure you're playing it safe out there with the rip current risk being elevated. Other than that, expect low humidity throughout the day. So while we warm back up into the mid 80s, at least it'll be comfortable as far as the humidity goes and we're heating things up to near 90 degrees as we head into next week. Jameson. Thank you, Jason. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget, you can always download the free ABC Action News app. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.